What up, everybody? Dirty Digits hanging out Scratch DJ Academy, New York City, once again. And we are here talking about the Aquaman scratch. A little bit of confusion associated with this scratch. Seems like a lot of people associate the boomerang and the Aquaman as one and the same, but I'm here just to define the slight difference to make these scratches really kind of stand out in your repertoire. Um, if you don't know the boomerang scratch, this is a good place to start. If you do know the boomerang scratch, we can kind of start in a little bit of a different position. So this is a three note scratch. I'm gonna have three notes going forward, three notes going backwards. So the only difference between the boomerang and this is how I start. My fader is going to be open this time. If you watch our boomerang video, you see I start with a closed fader. For this Aquaman scratch, I'm going to start with an open fader. Still requires that same two-click bounce and scribble motion with the record to make this all come together. So from the top, step by step, top of my sample fader is open. I'm going to go forward and close the fader. Step one. Step two, click the fader coming back. Still closed. Step three, I'm going to push the fader and end with it open as I go forward. That's the first three notes, and we just repeat those going backwards. So coming back, my first step is backwards to close, then I go forward to click, and then I go backwards to open, leaving me in my starting position. So one more time, three notes, sort of rolling idea. Once you get a little more comfortable, you can start to flow it together and you see the similarity between the boomerang and the Aquaman. One more time. So let's put it all together. Scratch. Lastly, we want to be able to connect it with, you know, kind of creative ways. So how this one starts open and ends open, it's really easy for me to connect into the idea of a two-click flare. I can keep the same motion going on with the crossfader, move the record a little differently, and I have a new dynamic to present with the scratch. So one, two, three, one, two, three, open. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two-click flare. So let's put it all together. I'm gonna start slowly with space, thinking about consistency, and then I'll add speed into the mix at the end of it. So uh, one time I'm gonna go, and then two click. All together. out dirty digits hanging out of scratch dj academy once again be sure to like subscribe and comment if there's any tutorials you want to see us break down in the future peace